Hey guys, today I thought that I would sit down and try on and talk about the newest foundation from Kevin Aquan. This is the Foundation Balm. So if you guys would like to see what it is, hear the claims, see application, wear test, and hear my thoughts, then just keep watching. So I have been trying this for the past couple of weeks now, so this is not a first impressions, but I wanted to talk about the product, show you application, wear a test, and give you my final thoughts. These lights, I set them to stay, and then they do this. So the claims on this foundation are the foundation balm leaves skin looking visibly smoother, more even toned, and imparts a virtually bare, brave, and beautiful canvas. This multi-action innovative balm contains skin pampering ingredients that enhance the luster of natural skin. Apply the foundation balm with the foundation balm brush to instantly even out complexion with a full coverage finish. So this is what the little balm container looks like. On the bottom it tells you the shade. On the side it says Kevin Aquan Foundation Balm. The lid has Kevin Aquan's name on it. And inside is a protective lid and that's what the balm looks like. Inside each box is a little foundation brush and Kevin Aquan's brushes are really nice. I'm glad that they give you a brush inside because I guess that's the way it's meant to be applied. Normally with something like this I would use a sponge, pounce it in and apply it or I would use like a rounded top foundation buffing brush. But we're gonna use this today. I'm gonna go ahead and just apply my regular moisturizer and then we'll move right on to this. Okay, so the moisturizer has sunk in, so we're just gonna jump right in. I am using the shade FB05 today. Okay, this half has the foundation balm on it. It claims full coverage, but you can see my acne scarring, my birthmarks. You can see birthmarks, pigmentation. So I don't think that on one layer, this is full coverage. So let me show you what it looks like with a second layer. Now with a second layer, you can get pretty much full coverage. I mean, you can still see some things through, but I would say it's a high medium to a light full coverage foundation with two layers. So again, with and without. Now this side of my face generally has more scarring than this side. I don't know why it works that way, but I usually have breakouts here. It's probably because I sleep on this side of my face. Um, so with and without. So I'm just gonna quickly finish up the face and then I'll be back to show you what it looks like before I add concealer, powder, and everything else. So the foundation is fully on and it does look smooth, but it is already gathering in the creases on the sides of my nose. So we'll see, but this is what it looks like. I'll give you guys updates throughout the day and then at the end, I'll tell you my opinion of this foundation because like I said, I have been wearing it for a couple weeks. So I will see you at my first check-in. Okay guys, so the foundation's been on for an hour and I did finish the rest of my face makeup and this is what it looks like under everything. So, I mean my skin still looks nice and smooth. It does look like it's caking up around the nose area already. You're already seeing the lines in my forehead, but honestly that seems to happen with everything these days. My cheeks look nice and smooth. My chin's not breaking up, so. Let's consider this the one hour check in and I will zoom in to give you a close up. So I'll see you in a bit. Hey 
Hey guys, so it's about six o'clock at night. So the foundation balm has been on for 10 hours. As you can see, I'm getting a bit shiny here and here. There's still a little bit of caking on the sides of my nose. You can see the forehead lines, but that's typical for all foundations these days. It's breaking up a little bit on my chin, but I do have combination skin. I like that this is fast and easy. I can buff it on, add some bronzer, blush, and mascara, and run out the door to take my youngest son to preschool. So I feel like that's kind of what I go for, something fast that I can buff on and get out the door. So I think that that's who it's gonna cater to, the person that wants an easy foundation routine. I mean, the brush comes in the packaging. It's a little pricey. Um, so I'm gonna say that's who it caters to. I don't necessarily know what type of skin would love this, possibly on the drier side, because I can't see this working well for super oily skin, but that's just my thoughts. So I'm gonna say I'm on the fence about this one. Like it looks okay, but doesn't look amazing for 10 hours. Uh, so I would say that I'd have to powder around the six hour mark if I wanted this to last all day long. So that's my opinion on this one. Again, I'm kind of on the fence. It's been a while since I've absolutely loved a foundation, so I'll let you guys be the judge. Hope you guys enjoyed this wear test and review of the foundation balm. If you did enjoy this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.